everybody, it's Eric with Dempsey's Resolution Fitness at Dempsey'sResolution.com and today we're talking about self-defense training. You know, for many years I was an avid martial arts uh, student and instructor and uh, there's a lot of programs and different things out there talking about self-defense and you know, there's billions and billions, just like any other topic, you know, for marketing and sales. It's all out there. And, but people really don't understand what self-defense is. You know, there's a fundamental concept. People see self-defense and they think of like ninjas and special forces commandos and all this craziness, right? But that's nothing to do with self-defense. I mean, those are totally different topics. Like when you talk about martial arts, you know, the art of fighting, right? So self-defense, what it means is to, you know, evade harm or death long enough so you can escape to defend yourself against hostile attack so that you can escape that attacker. Right? It's not about going toe to toe for 15 rounds with a heavyweight boxer or um, you know lasting all five rounds in a cage match with a UFC champion. And a lot of programs and a lot of people really think that's what it's all about. You know, if you take a, a martial art class and you're working on your black belt or something and you've been training for you know so many years, you're not training for self-defense. That's a totally different animal. Self-defense is a byproduct of that training, but self-defense training in and of itself is a separate animal, and it needs to be taught and addressed differently. And um, because if you're training to last in some long, you know, a prolonged engaged fight with another trained fighter, you know that's not self-defense. Okay, the average person on the street. Um, that's not going to work for them because number one, that's not teaching the violent, abrupt, defensive and evasive skills needed to end a conflict quickly or at least allow you time to escape, right? So a totally different mindset um, and some martial arts break it down by categories of training, you know. But for the self-defense enthusiast or someone who's just learning to survive, the survivalist, the prepper, you're learning to, you know, do things like an example would be uh, mobility kills. You know, you want to do mobility attacks so that your attacker can't follow you when you run away. You want to do quick, decisive blows that incapacitate, maim, and put down an attacker you know, from the shock value and the pain of it so that they're distracted from choking you to death or, you know, doing whatever they were doing to you, right? It's momentary, quick violence of action that incapacitates and distracts so that you can get away. Nothing more, okay? And, you know, if you get attacked by someone and you stay to finish them off, you know, legally, once you step over the bounds of once you've demonstrated that you could have escaped or you could have called 911 or you could have locked yourself in a room and you went out there and pummeled old boy until he was dead or whatever and you claim self-defense, you know, you got to be really careful because, you know, even though if someone attacks you, they probably deserve, you know, in kind what they're going to get. Um, the law sees it differently, and you got to be really careful, especially state to state. And so, you know, do what you got to do and get away. So that means mobility kills, you know, incapacitating blows to distract and uh, to maim so they can't follow you, so they can't continue the attack. Um, that's what self defense is, and you escaping. All right, so keep that in mind when you read about all these programs. I just saw a couple that were, uh, you know, like commando training to defend you and your family against hostile aggressors. You know, it's like if you're preparing for to repel the D-Day invasion, that's, you know, I don't know. You got to draw the line on the madness, right? You don't need, you know, advanced special operations training 
to learn how to uh, incapacitate and do a mobility kill on an attacker so you can get away to live another day, you know? It doesn't have to be, you know, Navy SEAL training to defend yourself. You know, uh, basic stuff. You know, how about take your keys and ram it in the guy's eyeball and then run away and call 911. There's an example for you. That's self-defense. Okay? Alright, so anyway, keep it in mind, you're not going for, you know, you're not going for the title in self-defense and, uh, quick incapacitating blows and mobility kills so you can get away and call 911 and uh, you know when in doubt a bullet travels faster than 911 ever will right just know what you're doing be smart be safe and uh, God bless take care